What are you at, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Lycos, and in this video, I'm going to be giving you a ton of tips and tricks for No Man's Sky. First up here, whenever you're starting out a new playthrough, I highly recommend that you scan everything. Scanning everything that you can on the planet will give you more information about the things that you scan. For instance, it'll tell you about extra minerals that you can mine from resources. You can also make a few units by doing this, and when you upload your discoveries, you'll get nanites as well. Also, I highly recommend, as soon as you can, get some good upgrades for your scanner, and then you'll get a huge boost to the amount of units that you'll get when you scan things. Also early in your playthrough, you're going to want to get as many inventory slots as you can. Most people will learn very quickly that on the space stations, you can buy an extra inventory slot. But you can also buy an extra inventory slot on the anomaly as well. So you can do both of these in every system that you go to. Also in the same location on the anomaly where you can unlock another inventory slot, new players should definitely take advantage and check out everything that this area has to offer. In addition to unlocking an inventory slot here, you can get a ton of blueprints and there's always a multi-tool here that you can check out to see if you want to buy it. Now a staple of most of my tips and tricks videos is to make sure if you are a new player that you're doing the boost trick. This is a great little trick to get around planets quickly. It's very easy to do. All you need to do is sprint, then hit your melee button, and then immediately hit your jetpack. This is going to give you a very good speed boost to get around quickly. And another upgrade that you should think about getting as soon as possible are the jetpack upgrades. That way you can get around even faster. Next up, let's talk about trading outposts. Trading outposts are a great place to go when you're looking to get a new ship. Ships are coming and going at a much quicker pace at trading outposts than they are on space stations. And trading outposts are a great location to build a base. And a nice trick for finding outposts is on the anomaly you can get an economy scanner and you can use that economy scanner in your quick menus to give you the exact location of a trading outpost. Now a couple of tips for if you find yourself in combat with other ships. If you're having trouble trying to target enemy ships, just hit the button that slows down your ship. When you hit this button, it'll automatically track enemy ships for you. It's not perfect and you might need to adjust your ship a little bit in order to hit the target, but it makes it much easier to track enemy ships. Now if you're a new player and you end up getting into a fight that you don't think you can handle, you can actually fly into the space station and it'll take you right out of combat. Once you fly back out of the station, you'll be completely fine. This can especially come in handy if you accidentally shoot a space station and get a ton of interceptors after you. Now that we're in a space station, let's drop over to the galactic trade. If you're a new player, as soon as possible I would recommend that you get yourself a little stockpile of useful resources that you're using on a regular basis. And this could be anything from ion batteries to life support gel. Now this next tip is for a little later on in the game, but if you're a new player or returning to the game, I recommend that as soon as you're comfortable with combat in this game, and as soon as you have a few upgrades for your weapons and whatnot, it's a really good idea to head over to a dissonant system. When you get there, you want to head down to a dissonant planet and start fighting the sentinels. These corrupted sentinels were added with the interceptor update and once you've defeated enough of them it'll start you on a quest where you can end up finding a really good sentinel multi-tool and one of the new interceptor ships. The sentinel multi-tools have the highest potential for damage in the game and the interceptor ships are some of the coolest and best performing ships in the game. Alright everyone, I hope you got some useful information out of this video. If you want to check out more of my No Man's Sky guides, there's a couple on screen right now. Thank you all for watching, and as always, stay where you're at, and I'll come where you're too. Later everyone.